Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Today we are taking a look at what is the best drive type for your impact driver. I've actually come across a new drive type that I think might be the best impact bit type that you can get. Now this is of course my opinion and it's not a bit type that you're gonna see in any of these kits. Um, it's not, you know, your, your Robertson or your square drive. It's not your Torx. It's not a Phillips. It's not a flat. It's not a hex. It's, it's none of those. It's, it's a bit type that does not come in these, these bit kits that you would normally get. But after using it, I think it may be the best drive type that you can get for an impact driver. Before we get into this uh, mysterious bit type, I just want to make a few notes. So Phillips drive, a lot of bit manufacturers have really dialed in the fit of Phillips drive impact bits. However, as good fitting as they are, and I think the Makita XPS is probably the best, you still have that potential for cam out, just like that. You still have that potential for cam out. But if we look, you can see that the bit, it, it, it's, it fits good enough for, to where it can actually hang from the bit itself. I, again, I think the XPS is probably the best fitting Phillips bit out of all of them. However, as good as it fits, you still get a lot of cam out with it. So that brings us to our next bit type. So the Torx bit type is probably widely considered the best bit type for an impact driver. It has several points of contacts. I mean, you rarely ever cam out. And overall, it's just a really good bit drive type for impact drivers. The downside to most, I'm not gonna say all, to most Torx bits that you get from like the Makitas, the DeWalt's, the Milwaukee's, and all those of the world, the regular Torx bit types is, is they don't have a very secure fit. This is magnetic and they just, they don't fit really, really well. So let's get a Torx bit that's not magnetic. And if you see, it doesn't fit, it, it really doesn't fit well. So it doesn't fit quite as snug as what your Phillips bit does. However, you're rarely ever gonna cam out a Torx bit. I mean, you can just, you can drive it with as powerful of a driver as you want to, and you're just not gonna cam out. It is really a good bit type for impact drivers. However, unless your bit is magnetic, it's not as tight of a fit as the precision fit of a lot of these Phillips drive bits. And so the next most common bit type for impacts in what is probably most popular in places like Canada is the Robertson or the square drive. And I have to say the square drive, it has this kind of tapered fit where it really does hold the screw on quite well. As you can see, I can put the screw in there and I can pull the bit back and forth. And I would bet if I drove this in, it would probably hold. So the problem with Robertson is it's not really widely available where I live. I don't know about other parts of the United States and other parts of the world, but where I live, we don't get a lot of Robertson screws. I think Robertson out of those three, the Torx, the Phillips, and then of course the Robertson, out of those three, I think the Robertson is probably the best uh, just because it combines, you know, the ability to not cam out with a good precision fit that most of your uh, modern Phillips drive bits have. However, there's another bit type that I think is even better and holds even better. So this bit type that I just came across, I honestly believe it's the best impact bit type there is. And I'm absolutely stunned that it's not more widely used. It's a variation of a Phillips bit. If you look at it, you can see it's a variation 
of a Phillips bit. This bit is not commonly known by many people, but what this bit type is called, it's called a PSD, a Phillips square drive. The little ribs are specifically called um, ARC, uh, which is anti-cam ribs. This drive type is actually made by the Phillips company who invented the Phillips drive. This Phillips variation, other than such like Posi and the standard Japanese, it's a completely different take on Phillips. And like Posi drive, your bit type, it looks like a Phillips, but you can see there's these little notches. However, with the Posi drive, what you're gonna see is one notch each place. With the Phillips square drive, you have two notches on opposing sides and then your one notch on each side. And the cool thing about this drive type is, is these screws can actually handle not only Phillips, but they can also be driven by square drive and Phillips drive. So you can actually use Phillips and square drive for these screws. All right, so the PSD, the Phillips square drive with the anti cam out ribs, as you can see, the bit holds really, really well to the screw. I mean, this thing does not cam out. So we just drove our screw in. You can see that the driver is hanging. Now watch this. Can your drive type do that? I mean, look at that. That is insane. I mean, you're talking about a hold. That is a hell of a hold with this bit type. And again, we'll drive some more screws and watch this. We'll take this, take the PSD out and Here's just a regular Robertson or square drive. See, you can see that it still fits in there. And this is a square drive bit. I mean, that's crazy. Now let's see if we can do it with uh, just a standard Phillips two. All right, so here's our Phillips two, and this is our Phillips square drive bit. I mean, it, it, it's not a great fit, but if you're in a pinch and you're using these type of screws, you can certainly use Phillips too on the PSD drive screws. I mean, that is freaking amazing. I, I've, I had no idea this even existed until I came across it uh, on Amazon. Like I said, it's the screws that I got are these. They're called Velocity, and it is includes PSD ARC, so that's a patented name. It's Phillips Square Drive with anti cam ribs, and it's made by the Phillips Screw Company. They didn't send this to me. They aren't paying me to promote this. This is just simply something that I came across that I thought. 
you, let me try this. I mean, it's a different bit drive type and I got the screws to try and I could not believe how good the fit was. If you haven't tried these, you definitely should. And why this bit type isn't more widely used, I, I don't have any answers for it, but it certainly, certainly should be. But that's all I have for you guys today. I definitely wanna thank you all for stopping by. If you enjoy content like this, make sure you like and subscribe. I will leave affiliate links down in the description. You cannot find these individually yet, or I haven't found them yet, but um, you can get your bit drive with a package of these screws and they're really not that much. But that's all I have for you guys. I will see you all on the next one. Peace.